this is going to be a fun one. Today I have a uh, 2011 MacBook Pro. Uh, it's actually sitting right over here recording the audio for this video. And uh, I wanted to take a look back at this now like 12 year old machine and see what it can do. And for an idea of just how long that is, this is me 12 years ago. Hey, this is Elijah with Play the Keys Tech. Then we have the MacBook Pro here that we got. We will say this is this has been a great laptop for us. So that's really amazing, actually. It's a great laptop. All right, thanks for viewing my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And obviously a lot has changed since then, or at least I hope I really hope a lot has changed since then. Um, the first thing I want to touch upon, uh, since it is a laptop, is the design of this machine. Uh, from first glance, yep, yep, it, you, you can tell it's 12 years old. Honestly, I kind of dig it though, like it's this big, chonky 13 inch laptop. It's definitely heavy, it's got to weigh like, I don't know, four pounds or something. And look at the bezels around that display, I mean, Wow, that that's a throwback. But the body of it is this nice silver color. It's got the glowing Apple logo on the back, big glowing Apple logo guy. And if we move around the sides of the laptop, there are a couple of things that we don't really see in today's MacBooks anymore. Um, on the left side, we have the MagSafe Generation 1 port. Um, we have uh, Ethernet, we've got FireWire. Remember FireWire? I don't. We have Thunderbolt, a couple of USB ports, we've got an SD card slot, it's got a headphone jack on that side, and um, there's this little button that you can press while the laptop is on, off, closed, open. At any time, you can just press this button, the lights show up there and tell you your battery status. How awesome is that? And then on the front of the laptop, we have that little LED light um, that lights up when the laptop is on or in sleep mode. I also wish they had this on newer computers because when the computer is asleep, it kind of does this pulsating thing that makes it look like the computer's like breathing or sleeping. I don't know. Again, I wish they brought this back. They won't, but I wish they did. Next to that, we have an IR receiver. <laughs> what? Back in the day, Apple had this piece of software bundled with Macs called Front Row. It was basically like this TV style interface and you could buy a little remote accessory that would interact with the laptop and this piece of software via IR, which is just bizarre, but literally so cool. Little chunk of history that you may or may not have known. Moving to the right side of the laptop, we've got a Kensington lock and a full-sized CD DVD a uh, disk drive. I used to use this thing all the time back in the day for writing CDs and things like that. I would get blank CDs and write a whole ton of them, um, which was pretty cool. When we open the laptop, we're greeted with this 13.3 inch display, and uh, that is low resolution. It looks really pixely, low resolution. You could see individual pixels super easily. This was just a year before the 2012 MacBooks came out and did the retina display thing. That blew everyone's minds. But for now, it's just kind of a Eh, mediocre display. One nice thing about this laptop that actually holds up super well is the keyboard and the trackpad. Especially the keyboard, man. I, I prefer the kind of chunk feel of each of the, that was weird. I prefer the deeper thunk key press feeling of each of the individual keys on this laptop. Like it, the keyboard feels unreasonably good. And the trackpad too. I feel like um, I enjoy using the trackpad on this laptop more than some of the newer laptops still coming out today. That's a compliment. Software-wise, this thing is wildly out of date. Um, this laptop maxes out at Mac OS High Sierra, which was launched all the way back in 2017. Wow. Is it 2017? I think it came out in 2017. But because of the older version of Mac OS, there are some compatibility issues with programs and other things like that. So you do just kind of have to work around those things by using older versions of the programs or um, using the web browser versions of certain things. But speaking of web browsing, the performance there is pretty great. This machine does only have four gigabytes of RAM, so like, you can't multitask like crazy. Once you have more than a few things open, it starts to slow down a little bit, but honestly, it's pretty impressive, I gotta say. So like your lighter tasks, like emails, writing documents, watching YouTube, I'd say doable, doable. Not great, but doable. 
Now I want to move on to a couple of heavier tasks, with the first one being music production. Oh boy. So, music production. Uh, I've got the MacBook here. Uh, by the way, something kind of funny. Uh, this is an iPhone 4, which uh, an iPhone from the era of this laptop. Here it is next to my current phone. Um, so yeah, I also have an iPod Touch 4. I don't know if any of you guys had an iPod Touch as a kid, but this is an iPod Touch 4. Maybe you guys will remember one of these. Anyways, let's see how it feels. I did have to install a driver to get the MIDI to work between the piano and the laptop, uh, but after that... Pretty much plug and play. My audio interface with my speakers picked right up. As we're moving on to the vocal section of this, the fans on the laptop are kicking in. You might be able to hear that. We think we rule the world, that no stone goes untold. Oh, so say all you wanna say, but some things we can't explain. So my general consensus on that, not bad, not great, but not bad. The biggest issue that I'm finding is something with the USB, something, I, there's a, a ton of noise in all of the audio that I've been recording today through, uh, through my microphone. I don't know why, um, but I can't seem to do anything to fix it. You probably heard it in my segment earlier. Um, and in my vocals here, you can hear it too. But for something very basic like this, I mean, what? I have seven tracks in here. Um, that's like nothing. Tends to work fine. Um, I do have one other experiment that I want to try though. And that is loading a heavier project file. So let's give that a whirl. So here we are with that. This is the 2011 MacBook Pro next to my actual laptop that I use on a daily basis. On this machine, I have to use an older version of Logic. As you can see, it's already angry. So a lot of the plugins and things that I would go to use are not available on it. Uh, so all that to say, I had to swap out some plugins and things to make this sound as similar as I could between the two. We're also gonna take this opportunity to do a speaker test because I have very low expectations <laughs> for our MacBook Pro over here. <laughs> I'm gonna mute the volume on both of them and we'll just kinda flick back and forth. Let's start by listening to the MacBook Pro speakers max volume. Okay, pretty bad, and let's switch over. Dude, that is maybe the biggest difference. I, I, that's that's huge. So that's uh, that's music and audio production on um. The MacBook Pro. Let's move on to gaming. As we uh, move into gaming here, I figured I would show you the webcam. I'm sure many of you uh, have memories of playing with Photo Booth. Uh, I certainly do. <laughs> this was just one of my favorite things to do ever when I was younger. Just, I mean, how could you not love this as a kid? And remember, this kind of thing was before Snapchat. Um, this was awesome. Anyways, <laughs> let's game on a 2011 MacBook Pro 12 years later. Said no one ever until just now. I did come prepared with a couple of things to test. Many of you may have played this back in your uh, childhood days. Ah, oh. that's not my username. I don't. Your account is now locked. Uh, what do you mean? I is that not my password? Wasn't I just playing this? What are you doing? That's not my password. What? I can't beat the Kapatcha. This is not the game, by the way. That's them. 
You're gonna keep making me do it? How long is this thing? Oh my god. All right, go. Stop, I'm going through thing after thing. How, this is difficult, more diff. Are you joking me right now? Yes. Go. Next. Why are there so many? The ones I can't get in. Okay. All right. I give up. Let's try a good old, a good old Minecraft. All right. Well, we appear to be in Minecraft. Let's uh, let's try multiplayer performance here. One thing to note is uh, if you want to get even close to full performance on this, you gotta have it plugged in. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm in the lobby. All right, so this is not a great experience. Okay, so once it ironed out, I'm on fast graphics, five chunks. This, this is playable. This is not great, but it is playable. Let's try, um, let's try single player and see what it's like. Wow, how about that world generation? <laughs> you might wanna start generating a world on your 2011 MacBook Pro. Go to the bathroom, grab a drink, grab a snack, then come back. Look at that. A world. That's not so bad. Look at that. We're at five chunks, the lowest settings. If I was really just dying to play some Minecraft and I didn't have another way to do it, this ain't so bad. I consider that a win. Nice job. But now, I have one other test I want to run because I felt like it would be funny. And that is some good old dolphin emulator, a good old, good old GameCube. Also my GameCube, my real GameCube is back there. So don't sue me. This is um, one of my favorite games ever. Logan just recently made a great video on this. Check it out. Look at that. Right into the menu, new game. Okay, so we're probably moving at like half speed right now. Maybe even less. <laughs> oh man, this is not great. If we wanted to say compare it, uh, we can. Let's see how, uh, how it does on the MacBook Air. And look at that. Not a single frame dropped. Not a single one. And we're full speed. Flawless 60 frames all day. This computer has no fan in it. An ARM CPU, upscaled to 1080p. That's freaking awesome. I guess that's the difference of nine years. But uh, anyways, that's gaming. <laughs> so what is the verdict here? Is there a lesson to be learned? Is there an over overarched overarching would i recommend that you buy this machine uh no <laughs> and with that thanks so much for watching if you have any questions comments anything feel free to drop them below i will respond to you and i guess i will see you next time peace